Hello and welcome back to another session with Mar uh, how to learning on uh, Delphi. Today we'll be discussing labels and edits and how to transfer data from an edit to a label. It's very simplistic but you'll be using it quite a lot in your Delphi life. Um, first we're going to use a T label. We're going to call it well, label output. We're going to add a T edit. We're going to call that one edit uh, input. EDT input. Oh, crap. Oh, can't I spell tonight? <laughs> okay, EDT input. I'm just going to shift that one a little bit up. I'm not going to do a lot of housekeeping, so you'll see that the programs don't look very neat that you can do by yourself. I'm just learning you the basics here. And a T button, we're going to add, call that one button process to process the data. Just going to put it in between because we're going to go from the input to the output. Once again, a label works on captions. We're just gonna clear that one. An edit works on text instead of captions. So you can just clear that one. You'll see that it's closed now. Um, the button we can just rename to process capital P. Okay, you can double click process. On, as you can see, it opens up our whole program again. We're gonna start by using the text from the edit we are going to say edit input dot text because we want to grab the text that's inside of the text box and we're gonna hmm, um, I want to say wait let's let's rather introduce a variable here it's going to be easier I'll explain variables a little bit later, just do as I do now, I'll explain it in detail a little bit later in my series. Um, we can just say my string is equals to, well is of type string. Strings are just basic text, you'll learn integers are, are uh, our numbering system and extended values or when you get to decimals but we'll get to that and you know don't need to stress um, we're gonna use the my string and set that equal to the in well the edits input and we're just gonna basically display that again by saying that the labels caption label output dot caption is equal to my string okay see it's as easy as that okay we can compile that one as soon as you click on process oh, well we might have to type something in actually hey um, just say name and blah 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 and few numbers you'll see it's just one constant string and it just plays it in the in the label as easy as that. Um, the c a label, an output, we've got, as you've learned in our previous session, we can use the color option. We can also, with this, we can just change the color property. The label's also got an out, well, something for that. And you can change that to CL purple, like in the one previous to this. So if you compile it, we might have an issue, but we'll see now. Oh, let's just type some words, process. Okay, you see that the purple didn't didn't display. We can just press F12 to get back to our form. Um, on our form, we can just set our transparency. Um, uh, no, wait. Oh, sorry, it's our label that we set our transparency to false 
Okay, now if we compile, type in a few things, process, and it makes the label purple. See, it's as easy as that. This was a short session. Um, in our next session, we'll get back to a few other things. Um, oh, just one last thing. We don't need a whole session for this. A T bit button. You'll see the the naming convention is actually um, I think it's BBN if I remember correctly. Uh, no, it's BMB. Sorry, uh, bitmap button. We can just say that one to close. Let's just modify that prefix of our uh, C in pack. We can just say B. M B. So from now on it will always be B M B. Okay. Your bit your bitmap buttons it uses it doesn't need a lot of modification. For a close button you can just set the kind. You can say close. So as soon as you compile your program and you click on close the application closes so you don't have to press the red arrow of the red cross, sorry for that one. Um You've got different types. You can, there's an all and a board, a cancel, custom where you can give it a custom attributes, a help button, a ignore. The most common ones that we're going to use is close and retry, but the retry one we'll have to program actually um, so that we can say on our bitmap button, uh, we can just leave it close for now, but just say uh, uh, label output dot I think there's a clear yeah okay caption and we can just do that just to well to clear out the text that was in there just a little bit of housekeeping and our edit dot yeah okay our edit we can clear you see that we don't set it equal to anything because we use the property clear. Um, and then the label output. Obviously we have to change back the color to CL white. Okay. So now if we run this, you'll see we can just use a lot of text. We can process, it's purple, retry and everything's cleared up. We can do it again and again and again until you get bored <laughs> okay thank you for your time keep watching please subscribe to my channel I'll be uploading a lot of videos I've been working hard on a lot of them but uh, yes it just takes so much time to render all these videos but I'll have them up soon enough thanks for watching Marius out